Welcome back to Pirate Studios. Today we're checking out a killer Wurlitzer BST plug-in virtual instrument, whatever you want to call it, by Waves Audio. So obviously this isn't sponsored and I'm not getting paid for this. I paid for this plug-in and I love it. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. So for the record, <laughs> I'm not a piano player. I uh, This review, I'm going to mess up. And it's whatever. Whatever happens, happens. This is just to let you hear some of what this plugin can do. So I um I grew up on the Blues Brothers and uh especially the movies. And so I'm a little bit familiar with the Wurlitzer, but what really put it on my radar was watching the Muscle Shoals documentary. And it's it's actually on YouTube if you haven't seen it. Just type in Muscle Shoals and it's about Fame Studios in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And there's a, a scene in it where they talk about Aretha Franklin and they talk about the song, Never Loved a Man. And uh, it starts off with the Wurlitzer and I just love the song. I already loved the song. But after that, I was like, I've got to have a Wurlitzer. Um, at least on the recording side anyway, have, buying one would be ridiculously expensive. Um, so I went on the lookout and I found this and especially for the price. I mean, it's most of the time it's 35 bucks. So that's just awesome. Now they've called it the electric 200 because copyright, the Wurlitzer name is copyrighted. So they couldn't call it that. So, um, what you just heard is just the stock, um, default. As soon as you bump up the plug in, that's what it sounds like. Um, I'm going to mess with a little bit, a couple of things, show you what you can do and then go through a, just a, a few presets and, uh, and then that's it. So I don't want to bore you to death. So, um, I've got a, I've got a foot switch down here that you can't see or a foot pedal. So I, I've got sustain. So this plugin is touch sensitive. So the lighter, the lighter it is and the heavier it is. So yeah. Yeah, so also what's cool about this is that if you have a MIDI controller like this, this one is around 150 bucks. It's pretty cheap. It's a M Audio um, Oxygen 61, and it doesn't have weighted keys or anything. So if you're an actual piano player, a keyboard player, this probably isn't for you. I know you real players out there like weighted keys. Um, so, but the cool thing about this is that you can assign any of these controls to any of these buttons. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going, you, all you have to do is right click and say learn. And whatever you move, pick it, decide, whatever you move, it will move it. Um, so we're going to do just, I'm going to do like just six different things here. Just so you can mess with it. And I'm going to mess with, oh, okay. Well, um, I'll go ahead and turn up compression. We'll do that here. And drive. And then these three, I'm going to make the bass, mid, and treble just for funsies. Yeah. And this, this goes with all these up here too. You can, anything on here, except obviously the keys, you can learn, MIDI learn and control it. So it's pretty cool. So turn up the hammer key up and mech. I'm assuming that's actually the beater, uh, which which is weird. This is a reed instrument, so it's like a harmonica and an accordion. It's air is, is pushed through it. Key up. Okay, so that's the noise of when you let go of the real Wurlitzer keys, it makes that noise. And then mechanic. So let's turn them all up just for about halfway.
pretty cool. And then uh, the treble and stuff. Um, comp. Amp. Oh, that's drive. So let's go through a couple presets, a few a few presets. 70s classic. Sounds really good. Basic whirly, okay. Well, this is a good sounding one. <laughs> I told you I'm not a piano player. Lean on, huh? Cool. So, and then here's one that I really it's it's probably my favorite one out of out of the out of the whole thing. Nice and Wurlitzer, Wurlitzy. I think I have one where I, I edited that and I added some, okay, my 70s classic brighter and more hammer. So I, I made it a little bit brighter and added some hammer sound. Then you've got some distorted stuff, buzz and warm.
Woo! So there you go. Yeah, it's it's killer. Thirty five bucks most of the time. Just gotta kind of keep an eye out on waves. Most of the time, it'll say it's like way more than that, but probably like at least once a month they drop their plugins down to like thirty five bucks or even twenty nine ninety nine. So look out for this. It's a great one. It, any MIDI controller will work. You can get something that's got weighted keys and it would work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Like 90% of people aren't subscribed that watch my content. I would appreciate that. Hit the notification bell when you do and say all so you don't miss any of my videos. And please hit the thumbs up, the like button on this video. I really would appreciate it. Till next time.